Hi everyone, my name is Nick Steigman. My partner Maya and I would like to thank you for the opportunity to share what we believe will change senior mobility as we know it. Older adults have a fear and functional limitation of getting up and down from the ground. We are here to provide them with a universal tool to engage with their lives again. Since June 2014, we have been exploring what does it mean to stay mobile for older adults. Our research involves speaking with many people, ranging from individuals, groups, and experts in aging facilities. One person in particular stood out to us, Granny Kathleen. Granny Kathleen is a Berkeley Hills resident and is originally from the UK. She used to play tennis and is now quite the history buff. When we met her, she was active every day. She would go grocery shopping, gardening, and would engage in all activities around her home. About a month into her research, Kathleen fell and wasn't able to do any of her usual activities. She healed quickly from the fall, but an emotional barrier lingered and prevented her from reaching the ground again. She hadn't started the book her grandson gave her because it was on the bottom shelf of her bookcase. She hadn't put f food in the freezer because it was too low. She cut holes in the back of her shoes just so she could get into them without slipping down. She began to drastically limit and alter her lifestyle. As we conducted more research, we began to realize Granny Kathleen was not alone. Most of the people we talked to had stopped getting down to the ground, not just because of functional limitations, but for fear of reaching the ground and getting back up again safely. This is why we chose our mission, to provide older adults with the confidence to safely engage in activities that would otherwise be inaccessible. To gain a better understanding of what was missing in the market, we explored what was already out there. We found that most existing solutions, such as electric patient lists and fall recovery devices, were band-aid solutions that were responding to an accident rather than enabling an empowering experience. We chose to focus on human-centered design principles and asked our users what would make them feel most confident. They wanted their product to be dignifying, have a simple and intuitive setup, be portable, and provide comfort. They basically wanted a product that was different than what they'd been given, a true enabler. After months of user testing and research, we created SPAN, a portable structure that provides the user with a secure platform to get up and down from the ground in a safe and independent manner. SPAN enables you to engage in diverse activities involving the ground such as playing with their grandchildren, because no one wants to feel anxious about being present for their family. Practicing floor exercises, because many exercises involve the ground, and maintaining your fitness practices are important for your health as you age. Or reaching any area below the knee without constantly having to ask for assistance. SPAN is a simple and intuitive structure to use. We designed SPAN with support at all levels, including top, middle, and bottom handle supports. To start, the user grabs the top handles, from which they can lower themselves at a gradual and controlled pace onto the bottom handles. To get back up, the user simply reverses the process. They climb up the slope legs at their own pace until they can reach the middle handles and safely push up from their legs, stacking their vertebrae correctly. SPAN is a product that makes the senior feel good, not just the caregiver. SPAN is portable and folds into a compact form. The middle handle swivels outward, after which you can pull out the bottom legs. To validate our design, we tested it numerous times with seniors with a range of activity levels and body types. We took their feedback and iterated SPAN until it fits seamlessly into their lifestyle. We had a huge success rate where everyone was excited about the potential of SPAN. It was so impactful that everyone in one of our rounds of testing, even a man in a cast, was eager to try it out. Not only were the users excited about the potential of SPAN, but the experts in the fields of aging and mobility were just as enthusiastic. For example, Janice Fuji, regional director at Unlock Lifeways, said she would buy these up if they were made available for her facility. Mark Larks, a physical therapist from the Lake Barrett Center for Independent Living, said that this device gave the senior members a controlled descent, which makes him feel much more at ease. 
Because of the tremendously positive feedback SPAN has received, we are excited about bringing it to market. Our product development strategy is to first secure our utility patent to finalize the provisional patent we already have. We will then develop an engineering model that combines what works like and looks like prototypes. We use our engineering model in pilot programs to accurately determine stakeholders. Our insights from a product development stage will help us determine how SPAN will scale up and expand. At that point, we will be able to calculate our return on investment. Finally, we will determine our distribution, which will help us calculate our annual sales. We strongly hope that we can make it to an old age, where we might value a product like SPAN, just as our users could today. On behalf of all the Granny Kathleen's of the world, and everyone who's helped, we thank you for your time and consideration. Thank you, Span. Do we have questions from the judges? So uh, according to our manufacturing consultant we've been working with, we're projecting this to be uh, in about $100 to $125 so far, but uh, as we scale that up, it could be even lower. Does well, it come in a range of colors? Sorry? Does it come in a range of colors? Uh, so, Currently, the reason why it's red and white is because we designed that to be uh, a point of visual contrast for the users so that they can identify the, the hand-holding areas and the, and the points of contact. So red is a uh, high contrast color, uh, especially with, with white. So depending on whatever else fits that criteria, we will offer those. So I actually have a question. Um, I can imagine this being good for something like gardening and being outdoors. How does it handle uneven surfaces? Uh, so all the, the places that we've tested so far have been on a flat surface um, and before we um, basically determine what that is, we would like to test it out. All of our process has been uh, determined by our rounds of testing um, before we can make a comment on that. <laughs> I had uh, just two quick questions. One, how heavy is it when it folds up for them to carry? And the other, I'm sure it's designed, but it does look like it could tip forward and just... Right, right. So, yeah, that was actually, it's funny because every time we tested this thing, uh, everybody was really surprised, wow, I can actually get down to the ground with that, you know, but what we, we determined its form by, uh, by our continuous rounds of testing. At, at, to start, we had uh, four legs, but then we were able to make it into a tripod, which was much stronger, we found. And uh, to answer your question about weight, uh, we're projecting that it'll be under five pounds, which according to the physical therapist we've worked with is a, a good amount for people to be carrying. It's only gonna be carried around their house. It's not gonna be something that you take around with you everywhere. So. Uh, two quick questions. Um, you know, the footprint is, will that or will that not be an issue? Uh, and kind of a, out there thought, have you ever thought of actually trying to build that into the walker? Sure. So yeah, um, we, we have spoken with uh, our, our users about putting into a walker, um, and what we found uh, is that they wanted something that was dedicate, a dedicated device for, this particular, for their particular tasks, and that didn't have the potential of wheel, you know, having a wheel moving around or anything. Really what SPAN is providing is confidence, and whatever in the design that gives the users that confidence is imperative. So that's what we wanted to, to roll forward. Um, and I, what was your other question about footprint? I wasn't quite sure yeah. what you meant by that. Yeah, so footprint. How big it is? Okay. Yeah. Um, so we have uh, our works like prototype outside, and we'd be happy to show everybody. Uh, it takes up, uh, it, it basically it's, it's framing the, the person who's using it to provide a welcome support. And we found that that was very important uh, to have. Uh, the, the constant uh, support at all levels. So it, it does take up a little bit of space around you, but that we found is important for its function. And when we were testing it, uh, people were fine actually carrying it in its configured state. They didn't even worry about folding it. So we, we think that when we add folding, it will make that even better. So uh, you talked a lot about confidence. Do you see this is something that I keep using forever after a fall, or is it something that helps me get back to feeling okay doing it without having to have this uh, skin extra. So 
What would be great is if SPAN was, a, you know, it'd be wonderful if this is a product that can be for someone at an intermediary stage to help them overcome that fear and then get back to being more mobile again. However, we noticed that there are many people that continue to have this fear and for them it might help to have it for a longer period of time. So it's really going to depend on the user and their current mobility uh, practices. Okay, final question of the... Uh, you got it? Okay. You could introduce yourself, please. Okay. Hello, my name is Paul Vigras. Um, I just have a question. What the actual feet are they made of? So what we're working on right now um, is for the engineering model to be made out of hollowed out aluminum. But currently, uh, we actually made all of our works like prototypes out of PVC, and even those worked. So when we transfer over to a more uh, manufacturing level material, it will be significantly stronger. The fact that we were able to get it now uh, shows that it would work there. Uh, is it, yeah. I noticed in your photograph there, because you're on a mm -hmm. polished wood floor. Yeah. And that lady is leaning on those two pieces and you're holding the actual other. Is that because it was sliding? I'm, so, I'm sorry, so, so the, the, the handles there, you grab it at, at a gradual pace and then you're able to lower down onto the ground. So it, 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 we haven't had anybody comment that that would be a, a problem for them, um, but we do recognize that it's something uh, to iterate on in the future. Thank you. Great, thanks very much.